I'm here with Marge Dutry and Cassie Line, and we're going to be talking about growing up in Carlisle. And they will be sharing some of their memories about living in Carlisle. Um, because I, as I understand from our conversation, the two of you might have been chums. Uh, oh, yeah. When you were young. From, mm -hmm. in, yeah. In so the we'll, seventh grade, yeah. we met. Okay, so let's, we'll start with you, Marge, if you would tell us your name and where you were born. Oh, okay. My name is Marge Dutry, and I was born in the old Carla Hospital. And the Carla Hospital at the time was probably only a few years old. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's where I was born. Right. Okay, so you were born in Carlisle. Mm -hmm. And you, Kathy? I was born in this house. My great-grandfather built that. Oh, and I wow. was born at home. In Greystone, which is, I know mm -hmm. where that is. And Louis Gobrecht likes, used to like to tell, see, there's a cave in the front and he said that was used as the, uh, oh, see, I don't have a mind anymore. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the underground yeah, railroad. civil war. Oh, the underground railroad? Yeah. But it was not. Okay. Uh, Dad was alive at the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Louis had said that. Uh -huh. And uh, so I was born at home. Okay. And when we last talked, we talked a lot about your childhood and growing up, mm -hmm. but we didn't get to the part about the Indian school. Oh, and okay. we didn't talk much about that, except <laughs> right. for about the red convertible. Oh, yeah. Right? I, I tried, tried to find that picture. Oh, uh, yeah. Remember that they stole yeah. at Sunnyside? <laughs> Mm -hmm. And Freddie, oh, Freddie gave me a picture of Jim Thorpe that you can see about this much of my car. <laughs> we have that and picture. And I looked at it so often. We that. have that picture, and we can we can probably splice it in mm -hmm. to our conversation, <laughs> so it's there. Well, I had said, uh, it's very, I have very little knowledge, but my father had his first ride in an automobile and his father and Pop Warner were in the front seat and Dad and Jim Thorpe were in the back seat. And he said that was his very first ride. Oh, this is the wrong paper. <laughs> so that would have been in the early 1900s. Yes. When Jim Thorpe was a student at mm -hmm. the school. Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pop Warner and my grandfather were friends. They had uh, hunting dogs, uh, or a hunting dog together. And they, uh, grandfather would keep it. And then if Pop went south, which I believe he did, uh, he would... Uh, get the dog and take it south then, and then bring it back. <laughs> where where was that? Where did your grandfather live? Was that at Greystone? That was at Greystone. So, His father built Greystone. And uh, so we all grew up there. Uh, well, I, I end up going to uh, Carlisle Schools. I went to the Franklin Building. Mm -hmm. And the uh, First time, first day, my brother took me on his bicycle. Right. And yeah. after that, I guess mother had to take me. I have no, mm -hmm. no idea how I got there. And where did you live, Marge? I lived on A Street. It, it was in the north end of town. Mm -hmm. And okay. uh, and you were when you were I, born at the hospital. Was that the first house that you lived in over on A Street? That uh, yes, we. We lived with my grandparents, right. and uh, then uh, we... Did you also uh, go to the Franklin School? No, I went to the Stevens building, oh, okay. where the, uh, yeah. they have I know it set I, up. Yeah, I think I know where the Stevens building yeah. is. It's yeah. now uh, Stewart building. Right, okay. Uh, it's on Franklin Street. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, the, the uh, Stewart Center there. Yeah. Yeah, okay. 
So, and that actually wasn't that far from Greystone. Oh, no. no. I don't <laughs> no. know why you... I don't know Well, it, it still would have been pretty far. Mm -hmm. Be about the So same. when you when did you the two of you first meet? In seventh grade. Mm -hmm. When you went to were we in the same school. home homeroom? No, I don't oh. think so. Who was your teacher? Uh Miss Fickus. Oh no, I never had Miss Fickus. You had Miss Lesher. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a brain anymore. <laughs> well, I Maybe I just know, recollect things that you know. Mm -hmm. you know. You're probably going to recollect different things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I oh, I wanted one thing to tell you. Now mm -hmm. this doesn't have a whole lot to do with our subject, but uh, my grandmother that lived in oh and did you know my grandmother was born in jail did <laughs> you I told us that? that story yes that you told she us that tells story that every time yeah. go by. That's but right. I, i've run out of people who don't know <laughs> no, but, but grandmother uh, had 10 children mm -hmm. and i think she was a perfect lady the older children took care of the younger right, children. Right. And I don't believe, I, I d never was told that. Yes. But uh, now my aunt wrote this. When I was two, two, I rode Nellie around the house with face, I don't know what that is. When three, five of us rode horseback to Mount Holly. Wow. Three when years she old. she was three. Three. <laughs> so was Nellie a horse? Yes. And they let the horse go into the house? Oh, yes. They, would, they said they'd take it up the steps. <laughs> no kidding. Well, years ago, the, they would have barns. Oh yeah, they had they, a big next stable. to the house mm -hmm. to keep heat. Okay. In, in the winter. To keep heat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That when, would make sense. And so they did that there at Greystone. Well, I I don't know. About now, Greystone. if they if she rode the horse to Mount Holly. Yes. How would she? Have, Three. Would there have been like back road trails? Or oh, probably. No. Oh, at that yeah. time there would probably be cast. Yeah, but have. the holly pike was probably not yeah. much. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. it probably was safe to ride. But I, I just the read this recently, mm -hmm. and I thought, oh, I'll just mention that's like Aunt Myra. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you know Aunt Myra? No. Too? Oh, it's when I knew her through Cassie mm -hmm. when we were right. We so kind nice. of lived it their house. Oh, okay. Uh, the kids would all gather there, mm -hmm. my two cousins. Aunt Myra spent a lot of time in Washington. Yeah. Uh, there again, the kids just grew, you know. Yeah. But we, uh, we went there. I remember I taught Bob McCoy to Jitterbug yeah. there, and there was and no chaperone. I forget. Really? Uh -uh. Well, oh, this no. would have been in like this was on Pumford early forties, late thirties, early forties when yeah. you were teenagers. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. And, and there was always a gang there. My did you still live on A Street then? I still lived on A Street. I lived on A Street till I was married. So did yeah. you walk to each other's houses? Or oh yeah. yeah, we walked home from school at lunchtime oh. and back. But I used yeah. to ride a bike. Yeah. Okay. You know. And mm. I tell people if I had a dime, we the girls would be going to the chocolate shop. After yeah, school? Uh -huh. After school. And if I had a dime, I went with them. Now, if, if I didn't have a dime, my mother had a church box <laughs> <laughs> that was full of coins. <laughs> and so I'd go and get a dime out of the church box. You dipped in. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was, when I was 14, uh, at that time during the war, they could hire you when you were 14 years old. Wow. 
and but I was about 15 when mm. uh, I worked there. I worked there for about three years. At the chocolate shop? Uh -huh. That was fun. Did it, you it have was brothers a and sisters? I had a brother. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Was he older or younger? He was two years older. Oh, okay. okay. So all his friends were, we were all friends, and the boys were, his friends would come to the houses, you right. know, so it was fun. So you had, we were all friends. You were comfortable around boys. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And when you worked at the chocolate shop, what did you do there? I waited on tables, and uh, all but they, they served. They were all booze, weren't they? Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. but what they had was a bar in the back of Ever was the, do you remember Ever? Oh, sure. And he was, the, would make the milkshakes and the Cokes and, and the ladies in the back, mm -hmm. way in the back, would make the uh, sandwiches. Okay. And they would cut the crust off, you know. Mm -hmm. and yeah, make them look Yeah, good. it was, it real was a nice. really nice place. Now, this was the place right on High Street? It's right uh -huh. where, your, your, uh, where, where the uh, gift shop is. Uh, right, where, in the yeah. Pearson Miller's building. Right. And it was the same building at that time? There were two buildings. Yeah, okay. Pearson was on the right, okay. and the chocolate shop was on the left. Okay. And I noticed they kept the uh, tin ceilings in there, uh -huh. which was a great idea. So they were the same? The gift shop has left the ceilings. And the new yeah. education? Yeah, uh -huh. look up when you're in there. Uh, and the new ceiling. education center on the other side, too. Then that's to the right, Yep, on up the steps. That that would have been Pearson's building. Yeah, right. Or offices. Yeah. And Pearson, it was a pool room when we were right. uh, mm -hmm. young. Yeah. And... Uh, it was Decker's pool room. Yeah, there were two pool rooms. There was one on the left yeah. of the chocolate shop and one to the right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you were surrounded by pool rooms. Oh, yeah. So, but, but it was, it, during the war, it was... Not a rough? No, it's climate. not one rough at all. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it was a fun area mm -hmm. in our lives. And how and you worked there for three years uh -huh. at the chocolate yeah. shop. Yeah, yeah. And and I guess Cassie, you would come in to the shop. Oh yeah. Yeah, when yeah all was, my friends did. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> when I had a dime. <laughs> yeah. Well, I would have, you know, I would get it if I get a nickel tip. It was, you know, something. Yeah. I lost. Um, a, I found. I believe it was a five dollar bill. Uh before Christmas one year, and <clears throat> Aunt Mary, of course she was not my Aunt Mary then, mm -hmm. Mrs. Todd, I told her I had found it, she said, well, I'll keep it for a week, and if nobody claims it, you may have it. So nobody claimed <laughs> it. I went to Woolworths and did all my Christmas shopping <laughs> with it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Woolworths was the department store that was right around the corner. Yeah, right. right. So you grew up with the Woolworths. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and um, what other businesses were there right on High Street there? Um, well, the theater was uh, around the corner where our building is. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> and I was asking Strange. Marge about where your parking lot was the Orpheum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because right. Because Dad took me to see Betty Boop right. uh, when I was just a little girl. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, then here on Pitt Street was the Strand. Okay. Yeah. And uh, did you go to the movies in at those theaters? Yeah, the cowboy mm -hmm. movies were at the Orpheum mm -hmm. and the Strand had a high, maybe a higher grade. But I liked the cowboy movies. <laughs> I still do. <laughs> Did you go on the weekends or? Yeah, yeah. And then the Comerford appeared. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> and then we were in dating at that time. So the Comerford was across, across the, the street, street where the Carlisle Theater is. And they sh do they show like first run movies? Yes. Yeah. Uh, how did you find out about movies then? 
How did you well, find out? They, and they had advertisement in the Sentinel. They, they did. Mm -hmm. okay. If you have old Sentinels, you probably. Yeah, uh, yeah I never noticed. Yeah, that. there's probably uh, ads in them. Yeah. Did you all go to movies together? Sometimes, oh, yeah, yeah. The girls. Yeah. Uh, we had a group of girls. That, yeah. <laughs> kind of like a gang. That, was well, it nine of us or yeah, ten? Yeah, and it was gang. called the uh, Susie, Susie Cures. Cures. Oh. <laughs> and we were, it, we were probably uh, snooty to the other kids, mm -hmm. and it probably was you so were kind wrong. Of a click. <laughs> yeah, well, but we were, but sure. it was very rude. <laughs> you know. Really. And a, a friend who lived on the corner of Palmford and West mm -hmm. had a, a building in the back of her house, and that's what we used for our clubhouse. Oh. And uh, we, yeah. we made promises uh. that we didn't keep. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of promises? Well, there was a group in the school called... The Albese. Yeah, Albese. And they just take... They have nine members, I mm -hmm. believe. And so we said, if we didn't all get in, none of us would. Well, March, you got in. Uh -huh. I you got in. in. <laughs> so we couldn't resist. <laughs> yeah. Was that the end but of your we, we stopped. No. Oh, okay. it. We stopped it the next year. Remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. We, well, Alice Scott said because that the there school were too board many was hurt. going to close in on the Albese because it was mm -hmm. too limited. You know. Yeah. Uh, kind of really. like a sorority and kind yeah. Yes. Right. And just right. taking nine. Uh, yeah. Well, and probably they wouldn't even take nine. There's some of the old ones. Were, were there older girls in there? They were the seniors, and then yeah. they would pick the juniors. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So Did they haze? Did it they was have a hazing? Trouble. Oh, yes. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't remember. I, I didn't know what she said. Hazing. Oh. oh. To get what in. What were the hazing? Oh, oh, we had to wear the same clothes for a week. Don't you remember And that? I had to In pick, school. I had to pick Phyllis Javits up. She was your and big walk sister. to school with her. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> who, who did you pick up? Uh, who was your brother's girlfriend in high school? Oh, Peggy Buckwalder. Yeah, uh, I, I was Nancy Buckwalder. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. Uh -huh. So you enjoyed that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. You had like a little clubhouse and everything. Mm -hmm. Was Pat Mulgrew your age? And No, she she's, was probably about three years old. Oh, okay. I think she w might have been my brother's age. Because she lived right in that area that you're describing, didn't Pat she? Pat McGrew. Between, around West and Pomfret. She lived... On Willow. Yeah, on Willow. She lived on Willow. Oh, okay. yeah. You're... Related to well, she was, oh, she was my godmother. She was my godmother, and I was very oh. close to her. Oh, mm -hmm. really? And I recall some of her stories, but this is fun. Then right? she moved down to Pomfret Street. Okay, and she, after yeah, you were across in the... from your mother's house. I so, mean, how did you oh. pick the name the Susie Q's? Well, I don't know. Well, we just idea. liked it. Uh -huh. We probably thought we were great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's fun. Big stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So how long did that last? Till so we were about now. There's how many of us left? Well, I oh. mean, all our lives. Mm. Oh, okay. The ones so that were in Carlisle. So stuff. did you meet for lunches after oh, yeah. you were married? Oh, my, and, yeah. Oh, nice. We sometimes still do their uh, we have for birthdays. You know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's Carrie and Gay. Oh, yeah, that'd be five. Carrie and Gay, you and me and uh, Gay Fry. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I know Gay. I don't Fry. know how I got five. Well, Gay Fry was Gay Wirt. They, she was one that. Owned the clubhouse, yeah. her okay. mother. Okay, so that's where she lived. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, we. Yeah, well, she's still around. Oh yeah. yeah. She tried. I had a birthday yeah. card from her. I've called a lot of people to thank them, but I haven't yeah. called well, her. Her birthday's yet. October second. Right. Yeah. So that would be um, Saturday. <laughs> oh. Nice. So there are three of you around still. Yeah, I guess no four. 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 Okay. Great. Well, the rest, most of them are dead. Did you all marry? Did you marry local boys, or how did you meet your husbands? <laughs> I know how you met your husband. You told us in that story. How I did met you Dick in, in um, tenth grade through my brother. Okay. And uh, he, of course, the shoe store. His dad had the shoe right. store. Right. And uh, didn't he have a car? Yeah, oh, because that was he worked. Such an attraction. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he worked in Mechanicsburg after school. This was all during the war. And he didn't work in the store. No, because he made more money working for the government. Oh. You know, he still worked maybe Saturdays. Mm -hmm. But after school, he worked in Mechanicsburg in a group. Um, well, Tom and. I forget he they, he would drive them to Mechanicsburg and they would. And Lois worked for the government too. Oh yeah, but Lois worked after she uh, was out of school okay. and uh, she went to Harrisburg too. Um, and I didn't know Lois that well in high school because okay. she was older. Was she? Oh, I'm we talking about sort Lois of yeah. admired yeah. her from a distance. Yeah, so she, and, uh, uh -huh. yeah. We thought she was really What was Lois's cool. maiden name? Ditlow. Lois Ditlow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And she was very popular. She was. Very popular and a very bright girl. Mm -hmm. and, and very proper. <laughs> oh, yeah. Such a lady. <laughs> and uh, I, when I really met her, that I became very close friends. We lived a block away when after the kids were little. And okay. she said, why don't we meet and walk? our kids? We would push them in go-karts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and... Uh, we I met her in the afternoons and we'd walk the kids. Oh, and uh, oh, I was thrilled when she asked me. It was yeah. like somebody inviting me to do something. You know, yes. great. <laughs> yeah. Well, you were at home yeah. with little kids, and we we became very close over the years. Yeah. <coughs> she told stories about Dick Cassetta. Yeah, yeah. She would have oh, known nice. him. Because. We're gay. Fry lives. Yeah, yeah. The Lair Park. The yeah. house where uh -huh. Dick lives. Does Gay still live there? Yes. Yes, yes she does. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Uh, yeah. She does have, there are new houses built. Uh, but there was a time I thought, boy, I wouldn't live out there. She was the last She's house. not afraid. And, no, mm -hmm. but I guess maybe I am. <laughs> Well, yeah. you get used to it. You get used to the... Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's her home. You get comfortable. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Gay would be a good gal to talk She would to. be, because she told... Uh, well, Lois used to tell me about... Dick Cassetta used to drive her to Mechanicsburg. Oh, okay. Because she worked... Well, then maybe she worked... And, and, and a little bit in high school, and I didn't know it. Maybe. I'm not sure. It might have been after high school. Yeah, I think it was I after. I think it might have been. Because she went... <clears throat> my sister-in-law, who... Dutry had a brother, Bob. Oh. And he... Uh, he was... They would meet. Jean and Lois oh. went to... Uh, some sort of a typing school and they learned all this mm -hmm. commercial thing in mm -hmm. Harrisburg and <clears throat> they would meet the guys. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> I went to commercial college uh, and I went to Harrisburg. I'd have Edgewell. to go down the old courthouse and get the bus. And, yeah. And it would stop one or two places. Mm -hmm. And finally, there was Thompson Commercial College in yeah. Carlisle. It's right that was here, the corner. Castor. That was here 
when we were kids. Oh, long. Because my dad went there. I must uh, not have known that. What did your dad do? Oh, my dad <clears throat> did a lot of things in his life, and he only lived to be 56. Oh. And uh, he was mm. superintendent of highways, and mm. he worked for Mowry Brothers. Okay. He, yeah. he was sort of a bookkeeper type. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. And yeah. What was his involvement with the place in Boiling Springs? Wasn't he? Oh, the clock the, tower. He yeah. Got, yeah had he to got do them to build that yeah. really? clock uh -huh. tower. His name's on that plaque. So how mm -hmm. did that happen? Ralph Bear. <laughs> Well, he lived in Boiling Springs. Yeah, he did. Oh, yeah. My parents were separated. Okay. Yeah. And so he lived in Boiling Springs near the lake? Yeah, right across in the, I think it's front front and first street or second. Right. The little stone house there. And he was a close friend of Bob Davis. And, oh. And they, uh, okay. So the clock tower, is that some kind of a memorial? It's for veterans That's of the Second thought. World War. Mm -hmm. My dad was a veteran. Oh. He was in the war. In World War II? World War II. <coughs> he was drafted. He was 36 years yeah, old. I would think he was. And he was drafted one of the older ones. Yeah. But he was in Germany. and so Didn't Jim send him a... Tape. Yeah. Was that during that time? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. I think My I had played. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. I think. He sent Ralph. A, I think a tape. Johnny might have it. I'm not sure. Mm. I can remember. He said he would play honeysuckle rose uh -huh. for. Um, my brother and me on it because oh, he said for Margie yeah, and Margie Dickie. and Dickie. Oh. Yeah. Uh, that that's how, you know, we knew him so well and yeah. I couldn't believe this. Smoky. Yeah. I can <laughs> hardly believe that she married him. She married Smokey. Oh, yeah. yeah. She didn't call him Smokey when we were no, talking about it. I didn't did he ever, smoke I never lot? called him Smokey. Yes, he did. Okay. And he might still be here if he hadn't <laughs> smoked so But he much. played the piano. He, he was yeah. a pianist. And at some, he always said at some point, their keys are celluloid, you mm -hmm. know. And he caught uh, some keys. This is before I knew oh. him on fire. Oh, <laughs> then that's really? how he got smoky. I don't oh. know if that's right. So he or was not. smoking at the keyboard. Yes. <laughs> he made the keyboard smoke. He would. <laughs> With the cigarette dangling from uh -huh. his mouth? Mm -hmm. And that was, that was your husband. Uh -huh. Now, w were any of the people in your family musicians? In because my your family? son, no, um, Marge's. Oh. Is, your son is a musician, isn't yeah. he? Well, yeah, he is, mm -hmm. sort of. And my dad, drums. my dad played the violin and piano. So you had a piano in your house, did you? Well, no, my grandmother. Did. Your grandmother. Yeah, and then my dad just played the violin mm -hmm. after that. But mm -hmm. yeah. Well, um, when I, I talk don't to have a piece of music in <laughs> me. You don't. Marge mm -hmm. and I tried out for the school choir. <laughs> we were the only two that didn't make it. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay. I couldn't believe it because it, I thought I could sing. <laughs> I, I guess I could. Oh, no. <laughs> I, my mom had told in church, I opened the book and I might real quietly if it's a favorite old hymn. I know, <laughs> but, but you know, that caused us to be we were like seventh and eighth grade, and that really caused us not to follow through with any. We were too young to be. They should let anybody mm -hmm. at once uh -huh. to You're be too. in it, be in it. Right. right. You know, at that and that's age. That's kind of a strong rejection. Yeah, yeah. it was. Well, um, George Yuda talked about being in a some kind of a group. Maybe he jazz. probably was in acapella choir at the school. Oh, maybe, yeah. But he also would play jazz with a couple of people. Did he? Oh. Yeah. You don't recall hearing. He might. Maybe he played with Ted Lutz's yes. orchestra. 
That's, yeah. I think that's well, what Jim he said. Well, Jim played with Ted. But okay. Ted yeah. had an orchestra when he was very young that mm. they used to play at above the Woolworth building. Oh. This oh. was Ted. Yeah. Hmm? Ted. Ted. Oh, and yeah. they, did they have dances up there? Yes, and Frank Fry probably played with him. Mm -hmm. Sure. And uh, <coughs> did he play one? He played horn, Frank Fry. Yeah. 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 Okay. And uh, did you ever go up there and dance? Were I, you allowed I, to do that? Yes, we were. I. I think I was a little young. Mm -hmm. that, I, you know, I never went. Up yeah, there. I, I. We'd go to student hops. Uh, yeah, at the Y. At, would they be Saturday night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At the Y. Yeah. The we, Y was up the street. Right. Yeah. The at, bank at where the, the bank is. Right. Okay. Do you have all the old pictures? We do. Yeah. yeah. I'm mm -hmm. sorry that I didn't get them out because. <laughs> Well, yeah, sometime maybe. This. Yeah, that would be fun to yeah. get out pictures <laughs> yeah. and look at. I would enjoy that. Okay, well, let's put that on the schedule and do and, that. And it might. Maybe run. we want to do that, you know, next time instead it of. Might, we uh, might do that instead of this. If, uh, I'll let you all, you know, see. And then we could mm -hmm. maybe, it might quirk memories. I think to that's us. a great yeah. idea. Yeah. yeah. Maybe um, you could help me think of, like, all, all the businesses along High Street, yeah. right here on High Street, yeah. in this first block. Yeah, Stern's, Stern's yeah. Jewelry yeah. Store was Let's on the other the side. The other side of the street. Okay. They were, Stern's was and beside the theater. Wilson's Drug two, Store. Two doors from the theater. Would we, would, we'd sit on stools, wouldn't we, at Wilson's Yeah, they had booze, oh. too. Yeah. Now, what was the name of the chocolate shop? Chocolate the chocolate shop. shop. Just the chocolate shop. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, I had a social security number, and it had the chocolate shop on it, oh, and I my. lost it. Really? Oh. Yeah. Okay. So you were actually earning on the books. Oh was, yeah. yeah, they yeah. were taking taxes and everything. At, yeah, I made at age forty. 15. No, I don't know if there were taxes, but mm -hmm. social security. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know if the income tax was there oh, okay. at that time. It, I don't know what year that came in. Hmm. And I made like 40 cents an hour, so, mm -hmm. you know, you didn't. <laughs> but that was big money then. So a nickel was a good tip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the college kids would come in. Oh, yeah. And all the front of was the chocolate shop was, was like three booze and the... Elite used the to come the in ladies there. in the front. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You might have and pictures on that. <laughs> and uh, they would they come in would with buy their market baskets from the. They would come to market mm -hmm. and then they okay. would come in too. So the market would be a good thing to have pictures of. Yeah. Too. Yeah, I know. I I I. Uh, somebody told me that um, during the Indian school years, Indian kids would come out and get hired to carry groceries uh, and stuff from the market to people's well, houses. Did you ever hear well, that? Well, my brother oh, yeah. was very ambitious as a little boy. We didn't have a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And he had a wagon, and he would take people's market baskets oh, home, yeah. Yeah. and he would make, oh, maybe... Ten dollars. Wow! You know, that, I mean, because they were people that could afford to yeah. have their baskets. Sure. Care. And sure. Jim, maybe I'm exaggerating. Jim got uh, went to market too. Did he work there long before I knew him? Oh wow. yeah. But he went to market and carried baskets. Well, my brother did it with the wagon. Yeah, not, okay. I yeah. don't know if Jim did. It and I remember the one Christmas. Uh, he bought me a, a Shirley Temple doll, and that oh. was so, oh. such a thrill. Wow. <laughs> I remember my brother yeah. bought me white ice skates. Oh. I had always ice skated in his. <laughs> yeah. Oh. There was a lot of ice skating at night. Oh, yeah. The weather now has changed mm -hmm. all that, but out of Cave Hill.
-hmm. a lot of ice skating. Yeah, and you were good. <laughs> and you went quite a lot. I, I went I didn't, quite a lot. I yeah. didn't go so much. Well, see, I lived on A Street, so yeah. I can walk out. Far. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the one thing I didn't mention uh, was about the when Jim Thorpe was in town for the opening of the movie. Mm -hmm. They had asked me to drive him around. Yeah. And he and his son were in the car. Uh, now, I'm not repeating, am I? Uh, Carl, his son Carl. Well, I meant about the picture. Yeah, we we have to, we'll pull that picture out, too. Yeah. Well, that, I, I'm quite sure that we, I've seen that picture. Yeah. Well, where it shows some of the cars. Freddie said, I can't believe that Richard doesn't have that Richard picture. Yeah, we would have Richard it. Have that Richard picture. definitely but they, Richard Tripp. Do you remember yeah. that, too, Marge, when... Um, well, at the time, you were married to Jim. 1951. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. I was... In the Harrisburg Hospital, uh, Johnny wasn't born then, but I was. They thought maybe I was in labor. And so I you went, were pregnant with Johnny? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She in 1951. Right. So she he was must born be in age. September. So was I, September 1951. Yeah. Mm -hmm. September 1st. 20th. September 1st. Okay. First. Oh, yeah. I'm 22nd. Mm -hmm. Mother was the 14th. <laughs> so that was your first baby? Yeah, and my only baby that I had. We have an adopted daughter. Okay. So you, and you went to Harrisburg Hospital. That's quite a track. Well, the reason I did, there was no obstetricians in Carlisle at the time. Wow. And I had to have an obstetrician. Okay. Yeah. I told So you were possibly laboring when all that excitement was going on. Well, no, out. I wasn't in labor. <laughs> okay. It was other things, yeah. complications. Right. Mm -hmm. and, uh, right. Well, you had, Jeff, you had yours in the Harrisburg yeah. Hospital. Yeah. Now, was Dick with you at the hospital, or did he, was he part he of the He probably, he took me, I remember he took me to the yeah. hospital. He probably stayed there, mm -hmm. but not. No, he probably was working in the store too. Yeah. I was in. They used to keep you for a week. Oh, I know. Yeah. Sure. And then they sent me home, and then that was in August, wasn't it? Was or, it? It must have July been. or August well, that that parade okay. was. I know what the top was down on because the car. it was about three weeks before I went into labor. Okay. I, I think, I'm guessing. Was your mom still living then? Yes. My mother lived to be 80, 97. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So she lived till what, the 19th? She, yeah, she was here and she could tell you about all the Indians. I she bet. Had. Yeah. I bet she could. She probably and had I'm stories. I'm not sure. Did they have any of the Indians go out into the schools or public schools? Yes. Because she said and that she went to the Penn Building, mm -hmm. and that's not there anymore. But mm -hmm. uh, she said there were some Indians in her class. There would have been, oh. yeah. But maybe just a couple. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes. That's Where true. some of them bright or could speak English. Oh yeah, and they um, they were sent to the Carlisle High School because they were more advanced. You know, I mean, the yeah, curriculum yeah, at the Indian yeah, school was, okay, was yeah, not as yeah. sophisticated as the curriculum yeah, at the high yeah, school. Okay. And we have some oral histories that talk about. I think one of them is James Garvey. What time is it's it? It's quarter twelve. Okay. <laughs> well, how are we doing? We're okay. We'll go oh, I'm okay. And we'd like but, to take you to lunch or few. Oh, that's very sweet of you. <laughs> I'm, I'll see. Um, but what I was thinking was um, I, I know I've seen in one of our oral histories I think it's James Garvey talked about walking down what he called a lover's lane between the Carlisle Pike and the Indian School grounds, there was a judge's house somewhere along there. And I think he was walking along there with one of the Carlisle High School girls. 
because he went to the Carlisle High School. But I'd have to revisit that. So I know yeah, there was I don't know where Lover's Lane would have been. No, I, well, maybe to him it was Lover's Lane. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it might have been that, that road, um, Pratt Avenue, that goes into the uh, kind of the gates at the school. That's all blocked up now because of security. By where the Letort goes by there. Yeah. You know? My cousin well, there was a railroad track down that way. Sure. By the, I remember, do you remember it as a kid? It was, you. I think one under it. In the subway. Down on where Weiss's store is in that okay. area. You're thinking of the entrance that comes in right off of Garrison Lane. There are two entrances, mm -hmm. and that was that entrance was you know in operation. Oh, there's still even, tracks there. Yeah. You cross tracks mm -hmm. if you're going to the back of the War College. Right. <coughs> there's a mulch place back there. That now, I, I think I would. I would have guessed this bridge. It went up over High Street. I yes, think. yes. It and did. It, yeah, oh, okay. And the I railroad. Can, I can remember that as a little kid. Yeah. <laughs> because really got around all around town. Oh, yeah, kid. because my grandmother lived... <clears throat> my mother lived beside the engine house on East Lother Street. Okay. And there were four girls and... Sort of down by where Scales Pardon? Is? Down by where Scales No, is? no, on East Lother. Oh, East Lother. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. And okay. near where the Penn Building is. So that's not far oh. from where Flickingers lived. Did you know the Flickingers? No. Okay. They had a bakery, a little pie shop during the Indian school years back in that general area. And there was a pretzel shop. Oh, Okay. Yeah. Back of, back there and okay. near the Penn building. So did you have boundaries when uh, you were a kid? No. I mean you no. just however far no. you, know, you could go. No. Not no. Like we today. just grew. We were tossed. Yeah. Well, I think with me and my parents were younger and uh, mm -hmm. my mother worked during the war. I just didn't ask, I just went. Yeah. Right. <laughs> And you had an older brother who laid the groundwork oh, for yeah. you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He was a neat that guy. That must have he been lived. an advantage. Yeah. He was What happened to him? Oh, he died of ALS. It was oh, terrible. Oh, and yeah. young. He 62. Had oh, yeah, that's He had come to see us. Uh, we had a big deck on our house, mm -hmm. and I think we had crabs. Mm. And... Um, Joy and Steamy, we called him Steamy, mm -hmm. came to see us, and he said to me, oh, I am so glad they finally put a name on my problem, oh, wow. that they were thinking maybe his mind yeah. was affected. I mean, and the same and as Lou here, then you it is a Lou Gehrig's disease. Yeah. And, That's but, what and, Woody and, Guthrie died of. Pardon? Woody Guthrie died of that. Mm -hmm. oh. So he was 62. Was he here in the area? Mm -hmm. oh. He lived, he, he he lived where Mary, or, or where um, Andrea Shea lived. Oh, okay. He died there. Oh, yeah. He walked yeah. home from the hospital. Yeah. Walked through that athletic field. Yeah, and his right. bare feet. Well, oh, he like, was yeah, out of it, you know. Yeah. He was yeah. out of it. Yeah. And looked in the windows and his wife right. scared her half to death. Oh. And the police came yeah. because of hosp you don't walk out, you know. Right. I mean right. not. he walked out at the back end of it. And he yeah. apologized. It's then. not that far really. I mean no. he was in no. his neighborhood. Yeah. Right. And he wanted, he he wanted to go home. Yeah. <laughs> I can see that. And he was called Steamy, so he had yeah. Smoky and Steamy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How did he get the name Steamy? I don't. My dad had Steamy. Was Steamy? Oh. Yeah. Wow. And that was because he was a pitcher, and he was a fast pitcher. And no kidding. Baseball. Baseball. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. 
But so you didn't that. have boundaries, and you didn't have no. boundaries no. either. And, no. and you rode your bikes, so you could Everywhere. probably yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, make I some drag. I would go out swimming, but and my mother wouldn't even know it. In really? the creek, you know. I would By never yourself. tell her. I never. T oh no! I but, lived with yeah. some, some kids, and. Uh, and where did your mom work? It was called the Piso, Standard Piso. Oh, yeah, the Crystal uh, Factory. Yeah. Was it located up on uh, West Lowther, in that West Lowther area? Well, then? where she worked, it was originated, it was on the end of A Street mm -hmm. and, and uh, yeah, and I, A Street, and what is that street that goes across? Uh, no, not Franklin. No, it's there at the college. It goes mm -hmm. straight through there. It was the uh, plant. The so it was really plant. close to home. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, she could walk. Could you go visit her when she was working? No. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, you, you weren't allowed to not do, do any of that. No. <laughs> no. But, I mean, you. I don't think you would have been allowed. Yeah, yeah. Because it was everything, you know, crystals for the... I don't know what the crystals were for, airplanes, I oh, guess. Yeah. War machines. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you were pretty independent from a young age. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Thank heavens I didn't really do... I never had a desire to do wrong things. Yeah, yeah. You know. Well, you fell well, in with the well, right a girl. Couple. <laughs> oh, a couple, yeah, but... <laughs> What? Nothing really. Bad. No, no. <laughs> just the Susie Q mischief? Yeah. I, just <laughs> as I was leaving here last time, I told them the time we decided to miss school. Oh, yeah. But we went to school, which yeah. was really And Milton dumb. Flower saw us. Mm -hmm. And he reported us to the <laughs> office. <laughs> we, did you ever know Milton? I did. Here? I did know Milton. Yeah. Was he one of your teachers or the principal? Yeah, he was our history teacher. Oh, at the high school. High school. My brother went to high school. Uh, they, he was four years older. My brothers were all four years apart. And Milton said to me one time, I cannot believe you're Donald's sister because he was so bright. <laughs> I'd carry my books home at night. Well, you you and were probably bright too, but we didn't use we, our we brains. Didn't we study. didn't. <laughs> no, we had the most fun in the world. Yes, you did. And I wouldn't trade it. No, you had I good wouldn't memories either. Of yeah. Up. Oh my. Gay should be here. She would tell you. Oh well. I mean, she she did things with us. Yeah. Oh, I'd love to pull her in too. Yeah, she Maybe would we do should, it. Let's do it. Let's um. Let's get some photos and and get yeah, her in and here. Gay would, she, this is all. I mean, th this is all digital, so we can just delete. You know, mm -hmm. splice together. Yeah. I or, can. Mm -hmm. I can name the. There's a picture. No, that. Uh, I could name all the stores. Yeah. Okay. And I could name them more up the other street too. Well, where yeah. all the rest. The Dolphin Deposit was on the alley. Well, that was on the and courthouse then, side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then that bookstore. Was, uh, what was that bookstore? Eilers. Eilers Bookstore. And then there were two, so uh, a Sears drugstore. The which, palace was next door, too. No, the palace was in the next block. That was the Peerless. Oh, oh, yeah, the palace. That's right. It was, it was a candy shop. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And then next to that was, oh, Arler's, then the candy shop, and then the bowling alleys. Oh, did you yeah. bowl? Yeah, once in a while, did you? Uh -huh, once in a while. Um, do you, did you ever know about the Ford, uh, the Ford company that um, Pat Mulgrew's dad, the Ford distributor, was that right in town? That might have been before your time. Mm -hmm. I bet it was. Yeah. There was a Ford distributor somewhere. In in the main street here. I thought so, but I oh, I, I be thought wrong. there was one down where that mm, I don't know what kind of a car place that was at the 
the old graveyard block mm. where the western is, you oh, know. Yeah. There was that was uh hmm. Where yeah. um where Faye's country yes, kitchen is? Yeah. That, that was that was a, uh, that was a car. Mm -hmm. Well where was Pavial's? Oh that was down oh, that well, was on high street. Well, I mean uh, East High The original Street. one was on North Street. Oh. Because oh. we bought our first Mercedes from Jim Pavio wow. for $4,000. Wow. <laughs> he sold Mercedes? <laughs> then the next one was he eight, sold and then Packers. the next one was 16, and the <laughs> next one was 32. <laughs> and then we well, that was down when he was down on East Tars. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And there was apparently there was a big Indian. A big, yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And we're not sure what happened to that Indian, no. or maybe somebody knows. Uh, you could always ask Johnny. Yeah, Cavio. I should ask John. Uh, he's my he, dentist. He's so mine oh. too. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, oh, he. Showed me so many pictures. One of the family, the five boys. Oh, you know, it was their, had five their mother yeah. was. She, she wasn't a Susie Q, no. though, but she was a close friend. She was almost a Susie Q. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> almost. But she that wouldn't have bothered her because yeah. she was very bright and yeah. very nice. Yeah. And yeah. she was the type you'd ask, tell me the answer. To, she would tell you. Oh, okay. We had another friend who was very bright. Yeah, Eleanor Cooley. Oh, you don't have really? To name that. Oh, she and I do that. <laughs> That's great. And you'd ask Eleanor. She'd say, "I don't know," <laughs> but that was the difference. They were both very mm -hmm. bright. Yeah. But Sally, we called she her. She was Sally. sweet. Yes, she was. And she had five boys. Oh. Sally, she she was the one who married the Pavillon, mm -hmm. the original Look. wife, and then okay. he remarried. Okay. And is she John's mother? She's she yes, yeah, and she mother, just died. Oh. Yeah, about a year she ago. She had moved to Florida. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She had remarried a couple times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And but Johnny said to me last week, he when he was showing me the pictures, he said. I, he said Mary was very good to them too, mm -hmm. Jim's second wife. Okay, yeah. But his mother wanted to be buried beside Jim. It, oh. Yeah, so they brought her there. Yeah. Oh. So it's sad. It was sad. It is. It and is. did they bury her beside mm -hmm. Jim? No. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's beside him, but they had uh, a big lot down there. Uh, where, where is that? Where is she? Ashland. At Ashland. Yeah, Johnny, uh, he can fill you in on the Pavio's history. Sure, yeah. But they, his grandfather originally started on North Street. Okay. Was he uh, from Carlisle? I mean, was he a local person, or did he come it, in? He, you mean Mr. John, Pavio? Yeah, the, yes, the I, guy I, who started the, the distributor. Yes, I think so, yeah. I mean, now he might have. Because your families go back well, quite a few mine, generations. Mine, yeah, mine does. Mine goes back that uh, they're in the old graveyard. Really? Lenny, Lenny Cool and Brubaker, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, uh -huh. the Barrett side, is there any connection to the wood carving Barrett? Oh, Bruce yes. Barrett? Yes. There it was is? my grandfather's. Half brother. Wow. And he was a. It was. He, and he carved in jail too. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't but bring up any it. of these. Uh, oh, okay. But no, I mean, it, it must but be it's exciting true. to see his work. Oh, up yeah. There, though, yeah. yeah. What was him. the other wood carver? Uh, uh, Schimmel. 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 Schimmel, Schimmel taught. I oh. think. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. No, Schimmel he, would car was, carve uh, a stop at Jim's mother's at 517 North Hanover, and he'd give her a, a carving, and she'd sit him down to a good meal. Really? <laughs> mm -hmm. wow. Do you have any of the carvings? No. no. I don't either. I, I, <laughs> my aunt and uh, 
Dillsburg. She was a Mayberry, and uh, that was my grandmother who lived. She was born in sort of Blowsville, Plainfield mm -hmm. area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Up where the artists were, the kind of the, uh, the farm people and the local artisans, the weavers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. That was kind of an area that was known yeah. for that. Mm -hmm. Well, do you want to uh, quit for now? I and, think so. It's and okay. pull together um, some photos. It's about photos. two minutes after 12. Okay, pull <laughs> together some photos. And, okay, um, that'd be great. And maybe see if Gay can come. That'd be fun. And we can, we'll have to squeeze the three of you. Yeah. Oh, well, here. we can we do can it. You'll, that. You'll, you'll enjoy being close, cause, uh -huh. and then you can tell us all about the Suzy Q's. <laughs> oh. Or not. Or it was not. in our, in our, in our, our it, It's in our yearbooks, yeah. too. Who's oh. you? After we might name. have yearbooks here. Yearbooks would be fun to use. I gave all my yearbooks to um, Hayes, Mr. Hayes, because he enjoys Rayfield. Rayfield. Oh. So you'll get them someday. Sure. You know, but we probably have copies of them because we have yeah. a lot of yearbooks. Yeah, here. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, make a, so yearbooks and local businesses right around yeah. here. Yeah, uh, you can get a lot of history out of them. Yeah. yeah, I have no idea if I have yearbooks. <laughs> I I just got mine together about a year ago and took mm -hmm. them down to Rachel because he he enjoyed. It. You know, he saw one of them, and then I said, do you want them? Because our kids wouldn't want them. Yeah, no. I mean, yeah. they don't want that kind no. of stuff. No, I'm afraid not. <laughs> I have Speaking a, from uh, experience. I have an original. In fact, I should probably bring it here. Uh, Carlisle Old New. Oh, right. We have some of those. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm sure. Yeah, I, I know because I have. That's one of the first things I lived next door to Winnie Carroll. Oh, oh did when you? When we first moved here, oh, on Lauder Street. Street. She was a dear. On uh, Lauder Street. On West Street. Oh, uh, in West Dr. Street. Wickham's before, office. Before, yeah. okay, before we lived she in, married. Uh, oh, before she married Clarence yeah. Plaster. But mm -hmm. she didn't move after she married. Oh, didn't she? No, she stayed in that. She house. was so oh. sweet. Well, she was in the nursing home with Dick's mother, oh. and she was out of it. You was know, the she Todd, was, at the Todd home, was that? At, at the old Todd home? No, no it was uh, at the, it oh, was no. a leader. Leader. Oh, oh leader. Was a leader. Oh. The old leader I home. I remember her after she went. I think we might have already bought our house then. Oh. She... She, she was, was such sweet. a lady. Oh, she yeah. was my little third, girls would go over. Third grade teacher. No, she was uh, an eighth grade English teacher. Eighth grade. Mm -hmm. Do you think well, she might have taught I had you? her at the Franklin no. building. Well, you could you have, did? yeah. So it was... Uh, I didn't know that, but she's she was eighth grade, oh. you know. But she could have been, you know. Yeah, I... I'm sure. She lived on a, where Barbara Lillick had, I think, or Barbara Lillick had a yarn shop. No. Is it, and isn't that uh -uh. where she lived? No, she, she lived uh, on behind Street. the, um, it was West Street, just behind the uh, Hamilton Library. The, the, I mean, behind the, the Bosler Library. The Bosler. She wow. lived next to the house of pizza. She had her. She had one half of a house, and oh. the Latin teacher lived on the oh, other. Miss Nolan. Miss Nolan. Oh. Carolyn Nolan. Well, lived Carolyn on the Nolan other side. was in the nursing home. Yes. Yes. <laughs> she was in the um, Thornwald, I think. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. That she was in with my mother. Okay. Miss Carol was in with Dick's mother. Right, okay. But um, she was, I guess Ms. Nolan might have been younger. I think it was younger than Ms. Carroll. Because she was a lot more spry. She I was a say. Latin teacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. I had her for one year, did you? I did too. <laughs> you all took Latin? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Lois Landis took four years of Latin. Oh, I, really? We, 
we didn't take Latin. Latin took us. <laughs> I only got through two years. <laughs> well, I think I struggle. Don't know. I struggle. Miss Booker was the second. Oh, uh, I can remember uh, taking algebra and algebra two, and I think, why on earth? But then All you I became, learned, I learned in class. But you didn't you use it when you were in business? No. No? <laughs> mm -hmm. I never... Well, Everything I we did dance? was very elementary. <laughs> but you had your own business. Yeah, but I... You uh, ended up with your own business. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so. but it, uh, it was... A, a fun business. Yeah. She had a wonderful business. Yeah, I remember oh, your story. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh there. Well, here. You're, it's nice. Yeah, yeah, that was good. Well, it's okay. nice to freshen up with our memories. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you for coming.